the message I would like to leave with the hunting public is that the, the threat from CWD is real. Uh, and it's, it's a difficult thing to wrap your head around, but it's, it can be and has been pretty slow moving. So the steps we're taking are preventative. We want to minimize the, the threat of the spread of CWD and, and minimize the prevalence level. And we'll be using hunters to get there. That's, an, that's, that's the most important tool we have. But the long-term view is that, that if, if left unchecked, C, we know CWD will have population level effects. And, and we, we want and need to avoid that. So we need to take steps now with the aid of hunters to, to get there. Success to me would be if we could keep that prevalence rate at 2% and keep CWD contained in Unit 14. That would be success. Uh, that's, a, that's a tough thing to reach. We know that CWD uh, is transmitted fairly easily. It's, it's long-lived in animals, has, has a long latency period before animals become symptomatic. We have migratory mule deer, we have migratory elk. Uh, you have CWD positive animals that are migrating to communal winter ranges uh, or summer ranges and, and potentially spreading that. So there's, there's a lot of challenges there.